It is the 18-year-old rookie in his first full season on the FMB Diamond Series. And he has already taken out the overall title. Can he crown that with a win here at District Ride? At what point is this kid going to start feeling the pressure? He hasn't buckled at any competition so far this season. Two seconds, a third, and a fifth on the Crankworks World Tour. Wrapping up the FMB Diamond Series, like you said, in his first full season. So there's the leaderboard right now. Regatkin in first, Godziek second, Kavasasi third, Eric Fedko, the local German kid, in fourth. So Emilio Hansen, little tire tap on the way in and a bar spin. He's doing tricks before he's even left the ground. <laughs> so that 360 unturned down, that inward table there on the castle drop. The double tail up his regular direction. Now you really have to pay attention to which way this kid is doing all these tricks because like Brett Reeder, he will mirror image some of those technical combos later on down the course. It's effortless, isn't it? The only guy 360 in that step down, he does it with a one-footed can-can, getting the variation, so important on that feature. Rims and seat posts cheering him on down through the box district. 360 bar spin to downside tail up straight to pedals. What's he got for us? On the Jeep, the Rhythm District going high. The 450 triple bar spin into the cork 720. And so much pop there, he got real amplitude. Oh, nose bonk, truck driver. It's like when you watch this kid ride, you can just sit back and relax and enjoy it. You don't have to worry about his train coming off the tracks. I don't want to jinx him, but that's just the way we've been led to feel after watching this kid all season. And the consistency's just Phenomenal, there's no one else in this league. I understand that last season because he had nothing to prove, but this season, he's got a lot to prove and a lot to maintain because he's been so dominant on the consistency category. There we go, opposite tail up and a regular tail up. One of the things that I love about this, Emilio Hansen is a very tall drink of water and he can make this bike look like a BMX. And then at the other end of the scale, you've got Anthony Massere, who makes it look like a 29er. Yeah, and both of them completely capable of winning any event on any given day. So the regular double tail up, boosting high amplitude. How did he fare? Third place. Not the highest score on District 1, so he needs to up the ante here in the box district. Oh, number two. he does. And he does, 13.95. The fans hanging out of their windows, cheering him on. We saw a great extension on that 360, one for the can on the step down, that Cork 720. Look, Jeep the Rhythm District also leading the charge. And then the Tech District. Oh, highest score we've seen there. Oh, without jumping over the box. So it can be done. Let's take a look at what he did here. The 360 double bar spin to X up. He'd already done a triple truck, so he didn't want to repeat a trick. Smart choice. So big, big scores from Emilio Hansen. The most consistent man, just 18 years old. His maturity is staggering. You would expect that kind of maturity out of a guy like Ryan Nyquist, who's got a two decade career. He's 38, but this kid, 20 years younger than Nyquist. Look at him feeding off of this crowd. Somewhere, this kid has got a pressure sponge hidden, hasn't he, that's just soaking it all up. Because <laughs> it seems to be washing off him. Yeah, you know what, maybe he goes back to the hotel and rings it out every night. That's, <laughs> that pressure sponge has not been affecting him, but with so many accomplishments this season, who knows, man, I hope it never happens for him. This is a great show. The OI 17.4, oh! absolutely huge. Although Regatkin got a 17.9 for OI. So this is a real, in the absence of Brett Reader, who we lost, if you're thinking, where is Brett Reader? Injured himself just before we started. But Emilio Hansen stepping into his shoes and really pushing Regatkin. The door's wide open for Emilio Hansen, and he takes advantage of the opportunity. Backflip, double tail whip, straight to pedals. Typical Emilio Hansen fashion. It's insane how he rides that bike as if he's living life in slow motion. We're gonna get the opportunity to watch that trick in slow motion, but I swear he sees in slow motion in the middle of his run. He makes this backflip double tail up look as easy as most riders make a backflip single tail up look. He catches his pedal so early, I saw him in practice considering another move after he caught the bike. Look how much time he has adjusting that right front foot onto the pedal. 
Well, strong run, extending the arms, maybe hinting at what he's saving for run number two. He certainly has wiggle room now. Well, the joy of this is for after the first runs, that was last rider for the first runs here at District Ride in Nuremberg. But five riders have landed their runs clean. Only three riders, Masseri, Venzel, and Nyquist, have got to lay, yet to lay down a run. But those other five can go out and really start exploring the limits of their capability now.